Hello everyone, welcome to Onion Skin. And in this video, we're going to be taking a look at how to draw using vectors. The great thing about using vector art in Toon Boom is you don't even need to be an artist to be able to do it. It's more like building a drawing or molding a piece of clay. But to practice it, we do want to trace over something. So I asked Chell to whip me up a wonderful killbot design here that we can practice on. Link is in the description. Whip that thing up and go to File, Import File, and get that guy in there. There we go. We'll move in place and head down to your drawing layer. Click on that and we'll get back to our drawing tools. They'll highlight again. And if you click and hold on the brush, you'll get all these other shapes. Go to the rectangle and choose a nice red. Zoom in using Z and X, get it nice and big, and draw in a rectangle. Awesome. We have a rectangle. If you hold down on the black arrow, the selection tool, you'll get to the contour editor. What it does is it breaks down a shape into its individual points that you can then grab and move around. Be sure not to confuse it with this white arrow over here. Uh, this will move entire layers to a different spot and kind of leave them there permanently, which we don't really want. We want to break down to the smallest point. So contour editor, box select everything. We see four points have appeared in each corner. And if you click on each one, you can, should, there we go. Be able to pick up each one and move it into each corner of this uh, face, place mar face plate mask. But we've encountered a problem. Most of you should know that a rectangle only has four corners, but this faceplate has six. What do we do? Behold the Alt key. Every computer has one. Hold that thing down and you'll see the white arrow will change to it's like a little plus sign thing appears. Click anywhere along this line and another point will appear just like that. And you can pick it up and move it around and you know, you've created another side, and another corner. Uh, now we face our next problem. We've got enough sides and enough corners, but it's the wrong shape. Uh, this mask has a whole lot of curves to it, but a rectangle only has straight lines, clearly. Um, but if you hover over the edge, the white arrow will change to that little arrow triangle thing. That means it's ready to start curving stuff. Yeah, curving stuff. There we go. Um, so that's the faceplate done. And see this kind of extrusion here? Uh, to do that, we're just going to make another rectangle. Same method as before. I'll, I'll make it a bit taller than the concept. That one there, that one there. Bend those sides in the shape. And now we face the next hurdle, uh, which is how this mask is kind of extruded. You know, we're only dealing with 2D shapes, not 3D shapes. What year do they think this is? 2015? Yeah, uh, hold down on the rectangle and there's a few other th different shape types. We want the line. Does what it says on the tin. Drag some lines in there and move that in shape. There we go, so we've got the extrusion in. The shape's looking nice, but next hurdle, lines are overlapping. What do we do? Is there a quick, easy way to get rid of overlapping lines? No, not really. If we were using Toon Boom Animate, yes, there is a tool that specifically does it, but here in Studio, unfortunately, we are reduced to just kind of erasing it with the eraser. Use the black arrow to select any straggling bits and they can be deleted away. There we go. Let's trim off the edges then. Black arrow can get rid of the chunk and yeah, that's looking right. So you can see we've made that faceplate already. We haven't drawn any lines at all. And we've just kind of built it up. Uh, so let's do the rest of the head. So these kind of sections here, one, two. Alright, let's do these eyes. They use circles. I'll put that one in first. The black arrow, the selection tool, lets you pick up whole shapes at a time. You can see the corners that appear. 
Uh, they allow you to get all sorts of different controls, scaling, rotating, moving stuff around. I'll get these eyes in there. Yeah. Big one for the head itself. So where the black select comes in handy here is, you know, that circle isn't exactly what, what we want. But rather than grabbing points, I can just manipulate the entire shape itself. Yeah, that'll do. And it seems for trim out the overlapping bits as closely as you can. Unfortunately, this is the tidiest way to do it in this software, unless you're using Toon Boom Animate, where you know it caters to this a bit more. Okay, so what was happening then? It wouldn't let me delete the circle because I've only trimmed off one end. Let me go to the other end. There we go. Get the circle. All good. So you can see how using this approach, you know, we haven't really done anything fancy that wasn't covered in the first, you know, one and a half minutes. It's just building up lines and reshaping them so that they all just kind of fit wherever they will go. I suppose. Okay, these ones are a bit different because uh, they're triangles. So I'm gonna make this one up here. Draw, a, draw another square and whoops, put the bottom points where we want them to go. And I want you to get these two points and overlap them like that. And you see, it's already created another point in the center where they um, where they connect. And if we select the two points that we don't want, just delete them. And yeah, there we go, we're left with the triangle. Round off the bottom edge and we're done. And because we've made one of these spikes now, we can select it with the black arrow and just copy paste a bunch. Yeah. Yeah, there's one. You know, just keep rotating and resize them so it all fits. It's, it's a big jigsaw puzzle, really. That one's a bit long, so I'll get that point, move it in. Um, oh, how do I want to do those ones? These ones, they're over the back, so I'm just going to straight up use the line tool there. There we go. All that's left now, these pupils, they're red, so I'm just going to do it in a blue just so I can see it more clearly. And there we go. Hmm. Alright, so that didn't take long and we've just built that whole head without needing to draw. Uh, if you select the hill thing, yeah, there you go. You can then choose a swatch over here and you can change it all from red, blue, whatever you did to black. Turn off the killbot layer and there he is all on his own. Um, yeah, so once you've practiced that a bit, it becomes very simple to do without having to use a reference picture, but use that uh, killbot import there because over the next few videos, we're going to draw this whole guy using different techniques and different tools that a studio has to offer. And next time we're going to build this arm here using the infamous polyline. Until then, farewell.